Okay, let's have a look. However you end up in the water this summer, if you get into difficulty, So, I mean, the first thing to note is there's lots of people wearing lots of different clothing going into the water um, and falling into it. Uh, and that's, I mean, there's a whole range of scenarios, but the common factor in all of that is the most dangerous period is that period in the first few seconds when you're under the water, because that's when your skin temperature is changing the fastest and you're therefore going to get the biggest drive to breathe, um, which we've called cold shock. Float to live. You really don't want to be doing anything that's going to put your airway under the water, thrashing about, trying to swim, when you've lost control of your breathing. One large breath in, a two to three litres, crosses the lethal dose for drowning. So the number one imperative is to float to keep the airway clear of the water. Tilt your head back with your ears submerged. Yeah, that's so the tilt your head back and to keep your ears submerged is an additional piece of evidence. The, 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 the major message has remained the same now for years in terms of floating to live. But we found over the last um, period of, of research that telling people to get their ears in the water just meant they put their head back a bit, which lifted the chin, which helps keep the airway clear of the water. Relax and try to breathe normally. Move your hands to help you stay afloat. Now, you know, people will float slightly differently, not only because of their own body shape, but also because of what they're wearing. I mean, we've got people in this film wearing shorty wetsuits. They're going to float pretty easily. We tend to find that um, females float fairly easily. Um, so the thing that you do to try and make sure that you float is as little as you need to do but just sculling with your hands gently. Um, and don't worry too much about what happens to your legs. Sculling with your hands, head back, ears in the water for that critical first minute in the water. Remember it, share it, float to live. Yeah, it's an excellent film. And um, that business of, of sharing it, really, this is prevention through education. Uh, and if, if people know, if people understand, they don't have to understand the detailed physiology, the fact that it's cold receptors that are, have a dynamic response that drive the breathing that take about a minute to adapt to the new water temperature. All they really need to know is I need to keep my airway clear of the water by doing as little as possible in that critical first minute when I've lost control of my breathing. <laughs>